A very warm welcome to paper sessions one being chaired by Professor Odaya Kumar. Dr. D. Odaya Kumar is the designer of the Indian rupee symbol. At present, he is teaching at IIT Guwahati as an associate professor, as well as the head of the Department of Design. He has completed his PhD in design from Industrial Design Center, IIT Bombay. Dr. Odaya has a master's degree in visual communication and a bachelor's degree in architecture. He worked as a senior designer and then as a design head in a monthly magazine, Intelligent Computing Chip. His two years professional experience in the publishing house has given him a good knowledge on print media. His interests include graphic design, typography, type design, architecture, and design research, with a special focus on Tamil typography. We request all participants to ask their questions through the chat session. Thanks, and over to Professor Odaya Kumar. Uh, thank you, uh, Nega, for the wonderful introduction. So I welcome you all. Uh, so thank you, uh, organizers, for firstly having me here as the chat person for this uh, session. So thanks to the organizing uh, committee. So firstly, I welcome you all for the first uh, uh, session of the paper presentation. Uh, so good morning, good evening, and uh, good afternoon, but not a good night. Uh, but though we are all from different parts of the country attending this event, so I'm sure you'll all be there uh, awake. Uh, so uh, we have five presenters for this uh, session. So like Neha said, we will have uh, uh, the uh, Q&A sessions at the end of all the presenters have completed their presentation. So we, uh, this is a request to the all the uh, authors. Kindly uh, keep your uh, presentation to 15 minutes because uh, there is more sessions to come. So uh, this is something I would request all the uh, uh, presenters to uh, keep in mind, uh, since there is no means to kind of put you uh, give you a warning in the online session. So I hope you will keep that in mind. So we have the first uh, presentation by uh, uh, Daniela Pisitelli, and she's uh, complete with two more uh, co-authors, Rosanna C L N. Uh, forgive me for my pronunciation, uh, C L Nella, Roberto Anagri. They are from University of Catania, Louis Benvitili from Italy. They'll be talking about uh, type for peace, a uh, development and international cooperation project. So without uh, wasting much time, I would now request the uh, authors to kindly take over and keep your presentation to 15 minutes. So we will be having the question answer session at the end of the entire session. So I would request all the participants to kindly put your questions in, uh, uh, in the chat box address to the respective authors. So I will try to pick them up and uh, post it to the uh, presenters. Yeah. So now over to uh, Daniela Pesitela. Uh, Please, all the best. Yeah. Thank you for inviting us to illustrate the Type for Peace uh, project. A lot of uh, many designers and institutions have participated on this project, uh, but today we will present it uh, uh, with the two designers and the researcher that, uh, who are part of my design for emergency research group and who, uh, who have contributed to the project. Uh, Type for Peace is a design font that is a part of a more, more larger project called the Fruit for Peace, which is a concept by Francesco Caponetti, CEO of Monte Carlo Fruit, and is configured as a research activity within a research agreement between Monte Carlo Fruit, that is an investment fund for emergency and developing countries, the Centre d'Etude and Development Industrial Agricole du Mali, which in nine years has brought work and stability to the local population in Mali, despite local political and social instability. Today, the SEDIAM represents an economic and social point of reference in the fragility of the rural and the local context. The AgriFood team is an international group of consultants made up of technicians and experts selected for their ability to work in extreme context and for their, their tra uh, transdisciplinary skills, educated to work in international and multicultural teams, sharing the same development vision. 
And last but not least, the University of Campania Luigi Van Vitelli, and specifically the master degree course in design for innovation, and in particular the research unit of design for emergency. As a full professor, I coordinate the, the emergency design lab team, which included the other two paper lecturers, Rosanna Cianiello and Roberta Angari. As a paper presenter, so we would like to thank the students, Rosella Fabozzo and Fiamma Puca, whose degree thesis are integral parts of the Fruit for Peace project, and specifically Mina Vitale for designing the type for peace font. I would, like, I would pass the floor to Rosanna Cianiello and Roberta Angari, who will explain the front project. Please, Rosanna. Thank you. Thank you, Daniela. Let's see now the identity project, its development and the basic applications. Considering so the international nature of the project, it was developed with an identity scalable system that could be defined not only in all the languages, but all the cultures of the world. Therefore, let's see the, the goals. One slide before. The, the goals of the project were to build a strong identity system, which was based on, not only on a single sign, like a trademark, but on a whole alphabetical system. The identity project shared the same values of the main project, Fruit for Peace. So we try to interconnect with the reason culture to combine artifacts for the promotion and dissemination and education. We start from the theme of the interwining, which is a strong and peculiar characteristic of the iconographic African textile production, like the Adinkra fabrics, which are based on a symbolic system, identity system of knots and square matrices. During the drafting of the project, we realized that just the font was not enough it was necessary to go even further in the construction of a real alphabet of signs and symbols coordinated in a system. By virtue of this, a double register was generated, of which a first axis included all the components of the typefaces uh, in question. So the basic leaf, the long leaves accent, with a touch of the series of two ligatures and hybrid glyphs. A second axis we see here is uh, uh, characterized by elements that the font has generated, like logos, prepositions, signs, both nodal elements of the logotype declinable in the different linguistic variation, from which all the linguistic hybridization have sprung into what are the special glyphs that we will see, of course. It was then fundamental to center the project to analyze the various meaning of the word Pisa in the different culture and the, the linguistic transcription that allowed us to identify recurring elements, but all confirmed the need to insert personalized elements. Furthermore, this analysis gave rise to the idea of a linear font with no capital declination. A font without angularity, clean, continuous, and expandable. The font is designed to be registered as a proprietary system, but at the same time, it will make use of the open source licenses. So as uh, to become uh, easy to access, not only for all the Fruit for Peace company, of course, but also for all the brand dissemination tool. In short, it must be able to be the main vehicle for the promotion of Fruit for Peace philosophy. The study of structural and compositional elements of a font allowed us to become aware of the importance of technical drawing. Hence the first sketches, the first construction and the first technical difficulties from the transformation of the sign on paper to the transition of the digital drawing with the use of a dedicated software. A series of design choices have been implemented, such as 
considerable stem thickness cuts at the terminals with the upward sliding and the absence of the sharp edges in the most of components and accents that echo the guidelines of the glyph. Through the geometric structure, it was possible for us to progressively advance with the current state of letters. The technical drawings uh, required the optical correction by virtue of the visual perception and modifying uh, the supporting axis, we arrived to the typographic alphabet. Okay, additional uh, loan uh, glyph from different uh, alphabet have been added to the letters. In their respective modules, Maltese, Norwegian, Danish, to which has been added to complete the set of accents we see here, enriching and giving the completeness, uh, completeness to the alphabet. Subset subsequently, the essential typographic uh, bindings were defined, which required a series of specific inter intervention and graphs. The font was verified by constructing the first word within the graphic line with a simple pangram, and all the where of course all the letters are present and verified through a complex uh, a complex sentences of various measure. All the glyph present, presented have then generated what the, the fruit for peace logo is. Okay, now I uh, leave the floor to PhD Roberta Angari, who will present you the dynamic font system. Thank you. Okay, I hope you hear me. And uh, now I'll present this part that is focused on the generative model on which is based uh, the, the project uh, and the, the realization of the type for piece uh, font. Well, uh, for the design of the logo, we can see that uh, as uh, we have done for the entire project of Fruit for Peace and Type for Peace font, uh, our uh, main focus were, were, was to represent uh, the um, connection between the glyph and all the elements uh, uh, of, the, of the logo. It was for this reason that uh, we have, uh, as we can see from the subsequent slide, we have done the work uh, appositely on the word for, on the preposition for, and on uh, the X sign that we will see uh, after. And uh, in uh, particular for the logo, we have to, we, um, uh, reflected the, the word F and E at the end of the logo to represent the idea of uh, look of watching between other people and look at the inside of the logo itself. For uh, everything about the logo, we have done the same um, check and uh, the same um, work on the geometry that we have done for all the glyph and all the alphabet. So for uh, this, uh, we um, try to respond to the singular problems and the singular difficulties that we find through this work. And for this reason, uh, we um, have to uh, highlight all the distances and work on it, uh, trying to um, respond to the, the, to the problems. Uh, also with the correcting the possible uh, visit problems. So this is the final work on the logo, you know, which we have uh, um, keep nearest the element uh, so we can see the connection between the T and F word and then the work on the preposition. Here, I'd like to uh, make a focus uh, on the work of the preposition and of the extra time that we will see after, because it is uh, in, um, 
in this perspective that we can say that our work is a generative project because what we've done uh, was to analyze different culture, extract from different culture elements, identity elements that could be transferred into the alphabet, into the glyph, and then uh, make it part of the single um, graphical elements that we put into the, the glyph and into the alphabet. It's for this reason that the type for piece font prefigured itself not only uh, as a, a font with the different alphabet, as we can see as well from the common uh, font that we have on our personal computer. But in this case, we have modified single glyph, single elements, in an attempt to uh, propose a sort of um, parametric and dynamic font that uh, can be customized uh, on different uh, characters. So we can see the sketches for different language and then uh, uh, the vectorization of work that we have done for uh, Birman, Arabic, Greek, Chinese, and the Hindi language. So the declination of the four proposition on the logo, as we can see here, for the variation of Arabic, Greek, Hindi, and Chinese. The same as done for the X sign. I call the the X because in the final confirmation it looks like a uh, capital X, but this is a sort of um, uh, uh, a sort of uh, uh, cross between the elements, the linear elements, and uh, it is for the connection of the different elements that compose the culture, the identity value, and as well the font and the other graphical element that we can see in the, the subsequent slide. In fact, as we can see, the uh, first sketches of the X element is constituted by a three um, line that are crossed by themselves and then all the work that has done on uh, the has been done on the, the final element. So also in this case we have the customization of the um, of the X element for different language. In this case we take uh, some uh, identity element from the different alphabet and put themselves into the X sign. And also, um, and these are uh, for the contract form and for the extended form. So we have, uh, as uh, so before, uh, all the variation for the logo with the X sign in Greek, Chinese, Hindi, Arabic, okay, and Birman. You can understand easily that this is also an example of the application of the identity element that are applied on the logo, but it could be um, scalable on a different language. So we have an hybrid alphabet, and we can see from this last. I think that we have a problem with the microphone, but we can see the last slide with the declination of the logo. Okay. I go quick because are only, only the different application. Ah, okay. And as well, the application of the stationary elements, the specimen of the type for piece font, the declination on the labels, in fact, we have to applicate it uh, uh, only uh, also on um, packaging and other elements that are all the uh, product that are um, properly made at the agri-food team and as, as uh, highlighted before by the Professor Piscitelli um, in the case of the Sedamsa, etc. So solid food, baby food, and that's all. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope that everything is clear only in a, a few time and I give back to the moderators. Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Roberta, uh, for the uh, very beautiful presentation. And uh, thank you to uh, the other authors also. Uh, 
so you may have to wait for the Q and A and session because we will have it at the end of the uh, entire session. Yeah. So please be there. Uh, so in the meantime, I will request the participants to kindly put your questions uh, in the chat box addressed to the respective speakers. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, yeah. So we will now move on to the next presenter. Uh, 